What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a vintage 60s style Twitter header. So guys, as you can see right now, I do have the header open. This is what I will be showing you how to make within this video. But of course, you can go ahead and you can alternate this and you can make it for a YouTube banner if you wish. You can make it for a desktop wallpaper. It really doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm going to show it for a Twitter header. Now, as you can see, there is quite a lot of layers, but it isn't too complex. So hopefully you guys can go along and follow this tutorial pretty well. However, if you wish to get the PSD to this um, actual design, then if we can reach 280 likes on this video i'll give you guys the psd but i'm sure a lot of you want to learn how to sort of do stuff in photoshop how to learn this style um and that's what i will be showing you in this video however guys before i do go ahead and start i would just like to give a big thank you to a designer called cami he really helped me with this style he as, as you can see here he helped me with the assets pack and uh things like that showed me how to actually create this as well so make sure you go ahead drop him a follow i'll leave a link to his twitter in the description down below without further ado guys we can now get started with the tutorial but the first thing you need to download before we do start is going to be the assets pack now i'll leave a link to this in the description for you to download completely free uh, the download will be there and as you can see here there is a font pack so it's got all of the fonts you uh, may need to be able to create this header of course i have only used one here but it, it gives you guys like a good selection of different ones that you can use and also the assets pack which if i open up here you can see does contain uh, a load of images and as well as that if I open this up it's got textures it's also got the fonts there as well and also some colors so make sure you go ahead and download uh, both of those which will be in one folder in the description as I said so once you have downloaded everything we can get started with the tutorial um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a brand new header as you can see here if I go to image size this is the sizing I used on this header there's a load of different sizing so you can use just because some of the images are kind of low quality because of them being old I made the sizing a little bit smaller but it still works perfectly fine so if you do want to make the sizing the same just make sure the width is on 2000 and the height is on 667 so I'm gonna make a brand new document using those sizings once you're in your Twitter document I recommend you have your rulers on if you don't already just press ctrl R on your keyboard to turn them on and then you can just drag in from the left and you can center them so it will click into place when it is in the center so i'm going to drag one from the top and one from the bottom just so we can um of course center stuff a whole lot easier so once you have done that you can now open up the assets pack and once you are inside here you want to head over to the image folder and you want to click on paper and literally just drag and drop it into your document and as you can see it is a little small if i go ahead and uh let me just drag and drop this just so i can show you guys a lot easier um the sizing that i used for this one here if we drag the rulers it goes to around about here on the document and this is way too small so what you want to do is grab your paper and just enlarge it so it does cover around about a quarter of the actual header sizing so around about there maybe make it a little bit bigger the image quality will be lost a bit but that really doesn't matter because we're going to color overlay it in a second so once you have done that you now want to uh, go onto your keyboard press ctrl j which will duplicate this paper and uh, now what you want to do is press ctrl t on your keyboard right click on it and go to flip horizontal and this will basically flip the same dimensions and uh, you want to move this over here to the side like so and uh, you should have like a big spacing in the middle because as you can see if we open up the normal one there is four images we did use so um, make sure the sizing is similar to this of course as I said it really doesn't matter if it's not perfect we are actually going to start adding the images now and then we can work on the center images in a second so i'm going to go ahead and open up the assets pack once again and i'm going to find a picture to use okay so i'm going to use number three here you can use any one you want i just think uh this one looks really nice and it's the one i used in the one that i made so 
I'm just gonna put this into the document as you can see and you want to adjust the sizing a little bit as you can see there is text on the image as well so just press ctrl T hold shift you can make it a little bit bigger just so there is no text showing and now what you can do is move this layer over just above the uh, first paper texture and you can actually right click on the layer go to create clipping mask and as you can see there will be this nice ripped effect and now we need to add of course the other image uh, so the other image we used was this one so let me go back into the assets pack and find which one that is um, I believe it could be number four yeah okay number four just drag and drop that into your header document and uh, make sure it's above the second texture this time do the exact same thing right click go to create clipping mask and uh, just move it about a little because of course there is text as well on this one so just control T just make it a little bit bigger uh, press enter and we are done for the first two images on the background so now we can focus on the middle images now what we are going to do is add this uh, color on the ripped texture so you want to go to your first paper texture and you want to press ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate and now grab the second one that's at the bottom and using your arrow keys you just want to move it around about six or seven places uh, I think that looks okay maybe let's move it eight there we go and now what you want to do is get this same color that I use so in order to do this just double click on this layer go to color overlay and you want to select the same sort of color so the one I used was a beach sort of color so I'm just gonna grab it from this using the eyedropper tool so you just literally select the beach over here press ok and ok again and there we go so we're gonna do the exact same process to the right image so grab the second paper texture here press ctrl J on your keyboard and uh, the one that's below it you want to double click on go to color overlay and it should have the same color already on there if it doesn't you can use the eyedropper tool to get the same one press ok ok again and just move that over around about nine places or just anything similar so uh, around about there looks good so guys as you can see we have our left image we have our right now it's time for the center images so uh, go to your paper texture it doesn't really matter which one any of these and you want to press ctrl j on your keyboard and move it down to the very bottom here and uh, you can move this over so i'm going to actually have to enlarge it a little bit and i'm now going to grab the next images so let's open up the assets pack and we need to grab number two drag and drop that in and you want to make sure it goes above the paper texture and now you want to right click on that uh, image go to create clipping mask and you won't be able to see it anymore so in order to fix this you literally just have to uh, go to the paper texture and right click rasterize that layer and you will be able to see it so now you want to also make this a little bit bigger so control T here just enlarge it uh, of course it's not the right sizing you can also rotate it if you wish I'm gonna increase it a little bit more I think I did mine a little bit too big so I'm gonna press control on the image layer control on the paper layer and then control T and just make this a little bit smaller here because I believe it is a bit too big and press enter there we go we have our third image now it's time for the last one so back to the assets pack you want to grab number one this time you want to drag and drop that one in and you want to make sure it's at the very bottom of all of the layers and increase the size once again just because there is a border on it through around about that size there we go that works perfectly fine however we are missing the colored rip on the center so in order to add this go to the paper texture here and press ctrl j on to it and you can use your arrow keys once again to move it over a bit and you will be able to see it over the left image here so i'm going to move it over around about there in order for the layers to look a lot better i'm going to press shift on the top one shift on the bottom layer and just press a little group icon at the bottom and i'm going to name this background images just so we can see what layers which okay the background is now done we're going to go back into the assets pack and i'm going to look at which font i want to use i really like this top right one which is called lemon drop as i said you can download them there in the assets pack for you to download so i'm going to use the font lemon drop so i'm going to go back into my document here and we're going to make a text box so you want to start off by making a brand new layer go to your rectangle marquee tool and you just want to make a sort of rectangle shape um, the sizing really doesn't matter I made it kind of big on this one so I'm gonna do it the same 
we're going to make it around about that size right click go to fill make it any color i'm just going to make it white so you can see it for now and then press ctrl d to deselect that you can also go ahead and rotate it if you wish so i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to rotate it a little bit down to the left here around about there i'm also going to make sure it's a little bit centered it doesn't have to be perfect something like that looks good in order for it to look better i need to change the color of this box so i'm going to double click on the layer on the right hand side to open up the blending modes and uh, we're going to go to uh, color overlay not gradient we're going to go to color overlay select the color and you want to use your eyedropper tool to maybe get the same red as like this umbrella something around about there looks good so i'm going to use that red press ok and okay again once you are done now you can go to the left hand side you can go to the text tool and um, you can select anywhere on your screen and just type in your text so i'm going to type in visual for this example and once again as i said the font that i am using is called lemon drop I'm, I'm going to make this a bit smaller here so make sure I'm holding shift and I'm going to rotate it a little bit like the box has been rotated. Let me increase the size a little bit more, something around about there maybe. One thing I think we are missing is a shadow on the box so I'm going to go back to the blending modes on that layer, go to drop shadow and I'm going to actually move this down a little bit here and I'm going to reduce the opacity and also the size because I think both are a bit too much and also the distance is a lot. Okay, I think that looks good. I've got my opacity on 33, distance on 13, and size on eight. So use anything around about there and press enter once you are done. Okay, so now what we need to do is make the secondary text layer. So this box as well. And um, in order to do this is really simple. Make a brand new layer again, go to a rectangle marquee tool, just make a rectangle of any size, right click it, go to fill. You can make it white for now. I'm gonna press control D to deselect that. And and I'm going to rotate it make sure as you can see it is actually above the visual text layer so anything around about there press enter once you have found a nice spot for it and now we need to change the color of this so the one that I used was a uh, kind of like grayish uh, sand color so just open up the color overlay and you want to find a suitable color so I'm just using the eyedropper tool to select the sand on this image and press OK and I'm also going to add a drop shadow similar to the other one but I'm also going to actually lower the opacity of this one so 17 opacity distance on 5 and size on 8 and I'm going to press OK once that is done now we need to add the text onto this one so I'm going to go back to the text layer and I'm going to write subscribe just for the example I'm going to make it a bit smaller as well make sure the text is in the box and you can keep the same color if you wish you can choose another color it's completely up to you for this example i'm going to use this light blue sort of color but it's up to you just use the eyedropper tool to uh, select anywhere on the images and try and find a nicer looking color okay so we're almost done with the header i want to add some lighting and textures though which will make it look so much better so in order to do this make a brand new layer go to your brush tool on the left hand side and you want to make the sizing i'm actually going to say around about here maybe a little bit bigger so let's make it maybe 780 that may be a good size and you want to change the primary color on the color picker to an orange sort of color so like a light orange maybe around about there press ok once you are done and now you can just add this brush here i'm going to add quite a bit of it so i'm just going to press uh, keep double clicking well no keep clicking on my mouse and uh, once you have done this you can change the blending mode i found overlay works really well but it's up to you the color is really strong so once you have added it you want to decrease the opacity to around about i'm going to say 20 percent 25 percent i'm going to put on 20 and there we go that's one lighting effect added we're now go we're now going to add some yellow to the sides of the header so i'm going to make a brand new layer again change the primary color to a yellow color so like a really light uh, light yight i can't even speak today a light yellow press ok once you are done and you want to add this yellow to the sides uh, there we go anything around about there you can change the blending mode once again to maybe overlay you can even try out screen if you wish this does kind of work let's go ahead and just use screen for the example maybe it'll work out well if not just go ahead and use overlay it doesn't really matter too much the main lighting effects have been added so now it's time for the textures so go to your assets pack open up the uh, textures group 
and you want to grab I'm gonna say number two first of all so I'm gonna use this one drag and drop it into the document and you want to press ctrl T enlarge it a bit because it will not cover it all so anything around about there is cool you can also drag it down drag it up it's up to you I'm gonna put it there press enter and now you want to change the blending mode to multiply and you want to decrease the opacity a little as you can see this really makes it get that 60 sort of retro look uh, decrease it to whatever you think looks good I'm gonna put it on 50% I think this looks so sick now we're going to go back into the assets group we are going to grab number seven drag and drop that one in here make sure it is covering the whole document once again and you want to change the blending mode to the exact same multiply but this time decrease the opacity to uh, a smaller number so I'm gonna say maybe 24% I think this looks sick as well now the final texture I'm going to add is number eight here uh, they are all over the place ignore that it doesn't really matter and uh, just make sure it's covering the whole document this time put it onto overlay and you want to decrease the opacity to anything around about 20% and there we go the header is basically done some final effects I do like to add though is grouping all of the uh, layers together uh, so shift on the top shift on the bottom and group it you can rename it to like header or anything like that press ctrl j and then ctrl e and then ctrl j once again and then add some magic bullet looks effects now i know a lot of you don't have this plugin plug in i believe it is paid i'll leave a link to it in the description and um, these are my magic bullet looks settings that i do have and it makes it look a whole lot better if I add it as you can see if you don't have magic bullet looks though you can drag and drop in your own CC's and mess about with those or you can just keep it how it is but one more effect I do add is grouping them once again go to control J control E and then control J one last time and you want to go to filter go to noise add noise and you want to add a noise amount of around about 11 and press ok once you are done and this just gives it that really nice vintage effect and there we go guys we are done with the header this is what it does look like i think it looks so sick if you do go ahead and follow this tutorial make sure you tweet me your creations at visual j daniels and i'll be sure to check some of those out if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated as i did explain if we can reach 280 likes um, i'll make sure to go ahead and drop the download link to the psd in the description as well as that if you did enjoy the video and want to see more graphic design videos like this please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new video and finally guys if you would like to improve any of your design skills make sure you check out my design store i'll leave a link to it down below there's loads of graphics packs on there that will help you out and i use them all the time and yes guys as i said that is it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy this this has been visual or james animal peace